How was this uh, Tokyo Dome press conference? Oh, man. Don Callis and uh, Will Ospreay. Man, they were unbelievable promos. And Kenny Omega, too. Um, I mean, it was... You know, I, I don't know. I didn't think anything was any special. It was just a normal press conference. I mean, it was kind of cool and everything like that. But it was nothing, you know, I mean, most of them are talking Japanese because they're Japanese. And um, FTR wasn't there for whatever reason. So we didn't get that. We did get um, uh, Leo Rush. You know, Leo Rush cut a pretty decent promo, pretty intense. Um, and then, um, you know, Tama Tonga and Carl Anderson, they were fine. Um Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. They were just, you know, fine. And then uh, it got to um, the one that, I, you know, I was waiting for. So Don Callis is there with Kenny Omega and no Young Bucks. Um, and uh, Kenny Omega does his promo. The You know the, 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 the Japanese woman who does the UFC translations with the, um, the pen with kind of like that flower thing? No. You don't know who she is? Okay, she's on whenever when UFC used to go to Japan, she would be there. Or when um, you know she translated with other stuff too. I mean, it's I think maybe whatever it was. I've seen her on TV many many times. And I went to Japan, and um, it was like it's like I, I met her in Japan, and it's like one of those people who like you see, and and it's like they're the exact same person that you would imagine them to be, like just bubbly and really excitable and everything like that so she's she's there doing the translations for this for this thing anyway so kenny like says like uh you know wants her to go on stage so kenny does his whole promo in japanese okay so she is then translating into english kenny omega's promo for will osprey who doesn't really know japanese well and for you know the people watching on new japan world from the united states and she's like it's just which is kind of funny and um then don does the promo and don does this incredible promo complete with stealing the line about the last day kenny omega was in japan and it was pouring rain you know that one <laughs> yes can you imagine how about that yes 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 i mean i'm just you know so um the kenta kobashi line or the pele line whatever whichever one you want to refer it to and um but just a incredible promo um really they really put over will osprey while in fact um you know kind of saying that he's not it was really interesting the the, the tack they took in the sense that uh will is fantastic you know um, Don even said basically that Will has the athletic advantage in this match, but you know, there's, there's great athletes all in wrestling. Every NBA team has great athletes and there's only one Michael Jordan. That was kind of like his, where he was going with a promo. And, um, and eventually like with all due respect to Carl Gotch, this is the, the God of pro wrestling. And then Will comes out there and his mic first, his mic doesn't work. Okay. And Kenny goes, you have to flip the switch. <laughs> and it was just like, he just got up and he just, you know, just, you could see the steam coming out of his ears. He's furious because Kenny, you know, basically said, you know, I left this thing to you and, and, uh, you know, and you, you know, you had good matches. You had great matches. He praised him for all the great matches that he had over there. And Will is just like, you know, you were, you know, you, you during the pandemic, you had to drive, you know, whatever it is, an hour and a half to to, you know, go to the to go to work. I had to fly. I was supposed to fly 12 hours, but then there was a war in uh, um, the war in the Ukraine. So now it's 15 hours. Then I would get detained for four hours at the um, airport, um, you know, in, you know, to, to make sure that I don't that I don't have covid, even though I would have a paper that said that I, you know, tested negative for covid to come. Then I had to sit in a hotel room like this box for 14 days before I would go out. And then I would have to wrestle in front of clapping crowds. And it just goes, I don't even know why anyone would go to pro wrestling when you can't cheer or boo. But these fans, they still came. And we had to carry this company and keep it alive, you know, with this, with no, you know, the no fan reaction, everything like this. And he, what a promo he did. And then it ends up with, uh, Kenny going, um, you know, just basically that, you know, you're you're really good, and I mean you're really great, and 
someday, you know, you 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 might beat me in in two years, you know, but but you're not ready yet. And when this thing was over, it was just like, if you weren't jacked for this match, man, there's nothing. I mean, the, the, this was this was some of the, you know, we we always talk about that promo work that that's non-existent in wrestling, and it's not non-existent, but it's rare. And this was it, man. This was really it. I I still haven't seen it, you know how Jay White did with with Okada, but I can't, uh, you know, all three of them were were really really strong. But but you could just that intensity that Will Osprey brought in that promo. Um, you know, was, uh, it was, it was something because you could just see, you know, he, he, his, his best friend died and he had to watch the funeral on a tablet, you know, just all of those things about, uh, you know, you know, working in the, working in Japan during the pandemic and it all just came, to, you know, came out and all that, all those frustrations came out and he used them to cut, you know, he used reality to cut one hell of a promo. Well, we're less than 24 hours away, so uh, Wednesday we'll be talking about that show. I'll probably, and, be, dead. Uh, I'll probably be dead by oh, dude, Wednesday night. Oh, dude, that's going to be tough, because I got uh, a lot I got to do Wednesday before uh, going to Dynamite. So, Yeah, I'm going to be dead, because I'm going to be up till 4 in the morning. Yeah. But did you know that in January, WWE presents the Royal Rumble on the show will be what is being called a... Pitch black match. Why, you ask? Well, Mountain Dew apparently has a drink called Mountain Dew Pitch Black. And they got a lot of money. If it's all blacked out and nothing happens, we're actually the winners because, you know, we don't have to actually watch it. Jared, put a black thing on the screen here. It's It would be like if the match was like this for 10 minutes, and all you heard was, oh, ow, boom. Oh. No, Mike. Stop it. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.